I was in a conversation with uh, another pastor recently. And he shared with me something that he said, I think this is common and it's not just me. And I'm like, yes, you're right. It is. And it's, and I remember having this thought um, years ago uh, where he's sitting in his parents' house with his family, his wife, his two little kids. Mm-hmm. And he's saying, when do I get, like in his own head, like, when do I get to grow up? I don't feel like I'm a man. Yet. I'm like, I'm like in my thirties with a family, but somehow I'm still not a man in our society. Yeah. Why is that? Who's going to give me permission to grow up? Exactly. Loss of um, uh, rites of passage mm-hmm. is part of what's caused this. But th- the idea then is really uh, wrestling with, like, it, I'm not going to get a rite of passage, mm-hmm. but when people see me, they see not a boy, but a man, right? Um, and as a result, uh, they see a whole bunch of other stuff that I have, that I am, that I've earned, that I've become, that I've done. And that brings a certain assumption from them to the conversation, which I've basically denied exists. Mm-hmm. And I need to accept that it, it exists so I can truly engage the conversation for their good. And if I if I don't accept that it exists, um, that you know, as a mid-40-year-old man, um, with a certain level of worldly success, uh, when a younger man sees me, he sees someone to look up to. If, if I can't acknowledge that, I can't then help him. Yeah. I'm afraid of him instead, right? Owning your position in the place. And so if you're a man um, in a healthy society, you're going to have respect by walking in the door. You can lose the respect. You know, Absolutely. Right? But... but you're going to a big dog walks into the room and everyone goes oh there's a big dog they don't go yeah. like um they, they acknowledge the big dog you have to they don't ignore it right that's a big dog i gotta keep an eye on that thing you know is mm-hmm. it that and that's what men have happen um and that can then that knowledge can be used for good or evil you can be like well i'm the big dog i'm gonna take advantage of this that's, that's not the idea right? mm-hmm. the idea is uh if i'm the big dog then i'm i'm the shepherd right right so, yeah. That leads me to s- something that I have thought of several times. <laughs> As our kids have gotten older, I've realized, and then I've gotten older too, um, I've realized how much mentally I'm just still back in like my 20s or college, you know? <laughs> I just haven't really mentally progressed past that stage. Yeah. And is that just our generation or does everybody experience that oh it's just us it's our lack of rites of passage it's our lack of tradition that has remained so much has been taken away we don't know who we are anymore and the the boomers have never passed on the torch so their Mm -hmm. generation whether for incompetence or malice i do not know failed to parent failed to pass forward right still wants to hold on (laughs) as if they're 20 Okay. Okay. I see that. But then, so, so we talk about, you know, the, it's not incompetence. It's just lack of preparedness. Ignorance. Maybe that the, that generation has had. Um, and then I look at the results of our generation raising kids. And some horrific things are happening in our public schools. I just was given oh, crazy. news yeah, from... Yeah, I heard it last night so too. I was like, "Yeah, we can't complain about the boomers. They never required special corners for that action <laughs> in classrooms. Yeah, no, no. That was pretty nuts, huh? This is gross. Yeah. Like our generation yeah. is messed up. But who's who are the ones that are the school administrators that are making this happen it's the boomers so you're you're, you're right so the (laughs) you're right they never did pass the baton they have not passed the baton (laughs) whoa they're the ones controlling the system still okay so because a a good leader would say no to the weird parent absolutely right um and i'm not and and the people who are in those leadership positions right now are some of them are gen x Mm -hmm. me right um very few are millennial. Those mm-hmm. are the teachers yeah. who have been brainwashed to be like, this is our agenda as communists, but we can't say so. And and so there is that. Um, but that's not everybody either. There are teachers who are like, this is 
wrong, but mm-hmm. I will lose my job if I don't do that. And I have all this debt because I went to school because I was told to. And my parents, they're having a good time in Florida right now. And like, like, yeah, right. So it it's, it's still. It's a huge snowball. The boomers. But we have then, five more years of boomer rule. But then it's like the boomers didn't just make themselves like they were made. How? TV. What happened? TV. TV. Okay. TV. What entered the family? Well, I'm just saying this, but what what yeah, changed? That makes sense. What changed? Their parents had a certain view of the world and yeah. the kids do not. What changed? A third parent. Yeah. There's a exactly. third parent who's more powerful because dopamine is a yeah. drug. Yeah. No, that makes total sense now. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah.